Welcome to Holistic Horseworks Talks. Join us with founder April Love as we talk about equine care. Learn what you can do to keep your horse happy, healthy, rideable, and sound through their 30s. Have a question you'd like to submit to the podcast? Just email april at holistichorseworks.com for a chance to get it featured on the next episode. Hi, this is Lillian. I'm here with April Love. Recently, we've had a lot of natural disasters. You had the wildfires out there in Hawaii, out east here. There's hurricane after hurricane, it seems. And south, you've got tornadoes. What can horse owners do to prepare themselves for such situations? So I had a friend and she's now an instructor in Redding, California, that used to run all of that. And she would tell everybody, you know, have duct tape and a black Sharpie pen handy so that you can put it on the horse's hooves and write your phone number. You should have some way to embroider or put your phone number. A dog tag works really great on the horse's halter with the horse's name, your name, and the phone number. That's one of the best things you can do. Little dog tags at the metal clip on the horse's halter so if you have to turn your horse out or a tree blows the fence down and they run loose and someone finds your horse with the halter on they can call you another thing is you know is there anything on the horse blanket a lot of horses are blanketed in the winter time you know they don't have a halter on but if a storm comes through is there anything to identify them you know, your name, your phone number on that blanket. Again, you might be able to do that with a dog tag or dog collar or something. So if you think you're going to be in those kind of situations, the best thing is to get your name and number on it, a landline, an email address if you have to, or cell phones. In Hawaii, all the cell phone towers went down. So we had large areas that didn't have cell phone service. So a lot of dogs ended up at like the pound in SPCA that didn't have, you know, people's info on it or another way to contact them when they didn't have a cell phone. So just make sure there's always a way to contact you. You should always have dynamite liquid trace minerals on hand. It's great for wounds. If, you know, a tree branch falls on a horse or something stabs a horse, it's really good to just clean that out with tea tree oil and trace minerals and water and hot pack the wound and inject the trace minerals straight into the wound to get it to heal faster, especially when you're out in storms and can't be out there doctoring the horse every day. We had issues with smoke inhalation in horses' lungs, so we always recommend a lung protocol program and a detox, and you can look that up in my Horse 101 or Horse 102 book. They're on Amazon. The Horse 102 is holistic alternatives, what you should be having in your medicine chest and everything you should do in an emergency for your horse if it's colicking, if it has a wound. And if you look at the ingredients that I recommend, it's going to be half of what you're spending on anything you're getting at the tack and feed store. So if you know weather's coming in, if you know something's coming up, make sure you have identification on your animals so people can get in contact with you and have things ready in the barn for emergencies, Epsom salt, colic, all that kind of stuff. Just be prepared. It's better to not need it than to be scrambling and looking for it in an emergency. You can find other helpful tidbits in my Horse 101 book, horseacademy101.com. And my website is holistichorseworks.com. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Holistic Horseworks Talks with April Love. Remember to check the show notes for links to all the resources mentioned in this episode. Have a question you'd like to submit to the podcast? Email April at holistichorseworks.com for a chance to get it featured on the next episode. Loved this information? Share it with your horse friends. They'll find it helpful too. To learn more, visit holistichorseworks.com. And before you go, make sure you have a copy of our free ebook, Horse 101, Everything You Wish You Had Known Before You Got Your First Horse at horseacademy101.com.